According to the Boston Children's Hospital, about 3% of children are allergic to bee stings, and that's amongst 2 million people nationwide who will have allergic reactions. This morning, our Shane Hogan sits down with Dr. Ruba Shaw to talk about the ways parents can prepare for a possible reaction. More people are getting outside now that the weather is warming up, but so are stinging insects. SSM Health family medicine physician and wellness coach Dr. Rupa Shah joins me to share some tips on how we can be prepared for bee and wasp stings this season. All right, Dr. Shaw, how can you tell if you're having an allergic reaction versus just a normal reaction to a sting? So <clears throat> with a normal, just regular bee sting, of course you're gonna get a little bit of pain, mm -hmm. a mild redness, maybe some itching at the site. However, this could really turn into a bigger reaction if your immune system really reacts to that venom. You can get a cascade of other chemicals that are released, a lot of histamine, and get a more severe anaphylaxis type of reaction where people can have dizziness, nausea, um, shortness of breath, lip, tongue, throat swelling um, and in the worst form of course the blood pressure can start to drop and then you can go into shock mm. so very severe kind of life-threatening um, you know side effects uh, if you're having an anaphylaxis reaction night and day yeah. difference between if you're totally. allergic or not correct okay yep now how do you treat a thing if you don't have an allergic reaction yeah, so the best thing is just to try and scrape away the stinger, right? Oh. Just with your fingernails or yeah. with tweezers. Do not squeeze the stinger, which will release more venom, of oh, course, into right. the skin. Yeah. So just try and scrape it away. Put some ice on it. Um, if you need a little topical hydrocortisone, Benadryl cream for the itching. Sure. Um, and then take an oral antihistamine. That's always a good trick. Okay. Just to kind of keep some of that um, histamine reactions and the swelling, itching, redness down. Probably stuff yeah. you already have at home, right? Exactly. Yeah. Or if you don't, it's a good time to get yeah, it for yeah, the season. Right. Yeah. Now, how can we prevent stings? I mean, you know, you could simply just say don't go outside, but everyone wants yeah. to get out and enjoy the weather. So if that is something people are thinking about, do you have any tips on how we can kind of stay away from that? Yeah, so just um, avoiding areas if you do see, you know, so when you're when you're mowing your lawn or trimming, mm. you know, the shrubs and stuff, just make sure that you're not, you know, you're being mindful of what could be around you. Sure. If you're drinking sweet, um, sugary beverages outside, keep them covered. <laughs> um, use a straw, keep food covered, keep trash cans covered. It's like covered. a gold mine for bees, That's right? That's what yeah. they love. They're going <laughs> right. to flock to that. So just, you know, be prepared for those types of situations. Yeah. If, you, if you are someone who's prone to allergic reactions, keep some antihistamines on your on yourself at mm -hmm. all times too so that if you do get stung you can take something right away yeah, yeah. trying to be prepared yeah all right Dr. Exactly. Shaw, where else can people find you they can find me on instagram at wellness with dr Shaw. all right thanks as always thank you